welcome back to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to install ruby on rails on ubuntu 22.04 lts by following its official documentation if you are a new to this channel subscribe this channel to get more tutorials let's get started by opening your favorite web browser and browse this url guides.rubyonrails.org and then follow this documentation before installing rails you should check to make sure that your system has the proper prerequisites installed this includes ruby and sqlite 3 database at first install ruby on your system verify the installation using this command if you don't have installed it on your system follow this documentation to install ruby on your system enter this command to install ruby on your system now enter password Now type Y to continue installation. It may take a while for installing Ruby on your system. Let's verify the installation using this command ruby hyphen v that's it and then install sqlite 3 database at first verify the installation using this command on terminal i already have installed sqlite 3 database if you don't have installed SQLite 3 database on your system, you can install it using terminal sudo apt install SQLite 3. Okay. And then install Rails using this command. hit enter it may take a while you must use the sudo privilege before this command Okay, now verify the installation using this command. That's it. Rails version 7 installed successfully on your Ubuntu 22.04 LTS system. That's it. Rails version 7 installed successfully. Now I'm going to create a new application using rails we can create a new application using this command rails new and then enter the application name blog my case and then hit enter It may take a while. Enter the password for your 
user account if you get this error install live sqlite dev using this command sudo apt get install live sqlite 3 dev remove this application and then apply this command again enter the password for your ubuntu users account okay now navigate to this application by cd and i am going to start the development server using this command now access the rails application using this url that's it if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video